What double standard disgusts you? If you owe a company money, you will be charged interest late fees service interruption almost immediately after the due date. If a company owes you money, you might see it in 4 to 6 weeks 2-3 billing cycles. A bank once made an error and asked my then wife if she could please reissue the check. She said, sure, once I've received payment of your £25 fine. They actually sent it. Edit to make it clear. Father here. On multiple occasions of taking my either of my children to the parents' room to change their nappies whilst out and about, I often receive dirty looks from the mothers and have even been asked to leave once. It's a parent's room, not mother's. I just want to care for my damn children the same as you. Where do you live, out of curiosity? Where I am, we only have changing stations and the like in the gendered bathrooms in public spaces. What you're describing sounds awesome, minus the dirty looks for actually taking advantage of it. I'm a dad of a three-year-old, and it drives me fucking crazy when people tell me how great it is that I'm babysitting or watching my son for my wife. He's my kid, dickheads. I'm just as much a parent as my wife is. Pay a bill a little late, and then they'll cut you off. They have troubles with their product, internet, cable etc., then they'll ask you to wait for 24 to 48 hours and solve it after weeks months. When people tell you not to be upset because other people have it worse. That's like saying don't be happy, other people have it better. Right now in Canada, we're in strict lockdown, but a dozen of our politicians have been found vacationing around the globe. In other words, we can't bury grandma at a funeral, but these politicians can go work their tan. Thankfully, many of them have resigned in the last two weeks. No limit on sick days policy followed by an annual evaluation where I was told I took the most sick days. Either fucking dock my pay, take away my vacation days, or change your policy. Don't make employees feel like assholes because of guidelines you laid out for them. If you always arrive to work late you're in big trouble. If work never finishes on time, shrug, no big deal. This is infuriating for me in a sales position. I constantly stay late or even have to come in on my off day to finish up a sale because that's how I get paid. We still have scheduled hours, but me showing up 5 minutes late won't make a difference towards my paycheck because those 5 minutes definitely won't make me a sale. But they treat it like it's the absolute worst thing I could do. They've pulled up lists for each employee showing how many times we've been late by the minute. I was told I've been late 8 times for a grand total of 15 minutes over the last 6 months. This includes from lunch breaks as well. And I was told this was unacceptable and put on a warning. This same thing was said to majority of our sales employees. But we get no praise for working over or in finishing deals. It's crazy. Banks businesses can immediately withdraw money from your bank account and apply all their disgusting fees. But for banks businesses to give you money, you have to wait 7 to 10 business days for the funds to appear. Rich people getting money from the government versus poor people getting money from the government. As a 17-year-old I am expected to act like an adult but treated like child. The same kind of occurs when you're in college. You're basically treated like a kid who can get arrested and drink, since you're still under your parents' wing. I was probably 26 or 27 before I realized I was no longer being treated like an idiot kid. Those romantic comedies with the cliché beautiful and smart woman married to the dumbest fuck of a guy who is lucky to have her. Swap the roles and see people flip out. When movies need an ugly guy, they hire an ugly actor. When they need an ugly girl, they hire a smoking hot actress and put glasses on her. Basically being against violence, but making comments about how men will get raped in prison. It's disgusting, and it's so mainstream. Every cop show makes some comment about prison rape being okay. Even shows like SVU where their entire storyline should be about protecting people. 
I fucking yearn for the day when someone going to a therapist to support your mental health is treated socially how going to the gym is for your physical health. Like just imagine if in a room full of dudes, I'm a dude, someone said they really made gains in therapy, and the homies were supportive. It would legit make the world a better place, but somehow taking care of mental health gets looked down on a lot fuck that. Add it holy cow thanks all. Seriously, you matter. Take care of yourself reddit, mind and body both. Child predators. Both men and women should receive the same charges. Also when abuse happens outside the family, it is the worst thing ever. But when abuse happens inside the family, people tend to say that it was not so bad or something. It does not matter where the abuse happens, it is still abuse. People should be held more accountable for their actions. Edit, typo. I'm a straight male. I went to a gay bar with some gay women and their straight married women friends. One of the straight women was being basically sexually harassed by another gay woman there, to the point of being chased around the table, all the while saying she was married to a guy and she wanted nothing to do with it. The whole bar was laughing. If I did that to a woman in a regular bar, I'd get my ass kicked, thrown out, or arrested. I was an exotic dancer through much of my 20s and 30s. All clubs in the city where I worked have strict rules about touching, taking pictures in the club, etc. Women would come in and think the rules didn't apply to them. Like no, Sarah, I don't want you to post selfies of you trying to suck my titty in the VIP any more than I wanted the old guy who looks like my dad to. Yes, you're getting 86D too. When I leave a job, I'm generally expected to give two weeks notice, so the company isn't left without essential things being done. When a company decides to let me go though? No warning to start putting in applications or saving more money. You're just gone. Total horse shit. Not in countries like Germany. It's harder for the company to get rid of you than you leaving.